The question was, as we ended the last season on a bridge with Mulder at death's door and with Scully looking up at a UFO, is how to get her off the bridge and how to save Mulder. Those were the big questions, and we had to answer them in an interesting way. No dilation, unresponsive, no indication of trauma. You found her where she is? She must have fallen. In true X-Files fashion, Chris did find a way out, and it's an interesting way, and a psychological one. I've seen it. You've seen what, Scully? I know how it begins. You had a seizure. You have extremely abnormal brain activity. I told David early on in season 10 how I had anticipated resolving the finale, and a year and a half went by, and he'd actually forgotten just want someone to tell me what the hell is going on here. So he was reading the first episode of season 11 fresh, and I think that I took him by surprise. Oh, that's the plan. How I was resolving the cliffhanger, and that was a very pleasant surprise. The question is where these visions came from. If the seizure caused them. Well, the exact opposite, if the seizure was caused by the visions. It's an interesting way from and a way into future episodes with this potential apocalypse hanging over us. Tell me what you saw. You're dying, but I can't save you. Not without a son. I'm here. There's no plague. You don't need to save me. It may not have happened in reality, as it seemed in the last season, but it may happen in reality in the future, so that's an interesting concept. My visions are from William. I don't know how, but I know that he's guiding me. Is there part of her mind losing grip, or is that a future vision that she's having, or is it William projecting his fears onto her mind? <laughs> Those are all big question marks.